Well, welcome back. The Arizona Humane Society is in desperate need for foster families. So what you need to do is care for nearly two dozen dogs there. Not just one person. No, 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 no. no. <laughs> they have nearly two dozen no, dogs yes. that they need families They're for. They're moms and they are nursing their pups. So joining us this morning with how you can help is Kelsey Dickerson with the Arizona Humane Society. Kelsey, great to see you. So what does it take to be a foster? Um, I would be a foster fail, I think, and I would probably keep <laughs> them all. But, oh, oh, hello, baby. Uh, <laughs> yes, had a little surprise today. Oh, my uh, goodness. You know what? <laughs> Anita, it's so easy to be a foster hero. I have been a foster hero and a foster fail as well, so I definitely feel you. But the Arizona Humane Society provides everything that you need from medical care to toys, blankets, food, you name it. We provide everything that you need. And all you need to do is provide a safe, quiet space with lots of love and care for these little bundles of joy. It's super easy. You just visit azhumane.org slash foster, fill out the application, do the online orientation, and we'll be in touch. And I mean, look at those little angels. Oh I, my how goodness. can you say no? So you have mom that's nursing. Do, obviously, you'd have to take them all, right? Because you can't separate them yet. Yeah, so the way that it works is, um, so we've brought in 21 mom and puppies through our Project Reach Out, which is a program that is truly life-saving. So we're able to bring in these pets from other shelters that just cannot care for them. So whether it's a pregnant mom like Maisie May here or Darla and her darlings, um, you are able to bring in the whole family until they're about four or five weeks old. Then they separate them um, so the mom can dry up. And then the puppies uh, keep on getting a big and stronger until they're about the size of this little girl and then they all go for adoption and what's so great is you mentioned foster failing you can have the first right of refusal so if you do want to adopt any of those little cuties then you can before they go up for official adoption i like that first right of refusal yes. nope, like, nope, no no they're no mine. this they're one's mine, mine. <laughs> kelsey real quick maybe if folks are maybe not ready to take on a mom and mm -hmm. her babies but you obviously have a lot of other dogs that you can take correct that you can foster of course yeah, of course, there are so many different types of animals that need your help, <laughs> including, you know, as Stevie Nicks is uh, showing off why she's named Stevie Nicks today. Um, but yeah, there's so many different types of animals that need your help. And by bringing in a foster pet, you're allowing us to keep on saving even more sick, injured, and abused pets because not only are you saving the lives of little ones like these, but you're also <laughs> allowing our, our emergency animal medical technicians to be out there each and every day to have that life-saving kennel space. So there's so many different types of animals that can fit every schedule, every um, every uh, family lifestyle, and everything like that. So you don't have to bring in mom and babies. You can bring in lots of other ones like kitties, critters, and adult dogs too. We're getting the wrap, but I really want to know about Stevie Nicks if she's up for a dog. Option. Does she need a foster? Yes, yeah, so Stevie Nicks is a perfect example of a pet that was brought in through Project Reach Out. She just needs her spay, and then she will be up for adoption probably early next week. Oh, she is so she's cute. She's adorable. You she know, just wants a little love. I noticed when you picked her up, <laughs> yeah, so when she was fine. on camera, she's fine. She she's wants just a, a little love and She's attention. a camera hog. All right, how do people no find you guys? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you can visit azhumane.org slash fosters to sign up or azhumane.org slash adopt to see the loving little cuties that we have available oh, for adoption. Best well, job ever. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs>